So this is my latest projectile flinging implement. It's a spring-powered catapult. Um, I've made a couple of these before. Well, a couple of catapults this size before. Um, but the last couple of times I made them out of uh, sticks and spoons. So this is slightly well, better engineered. It's made with uh, three quarter inch by three quarter inch dowels and a spring and a bunch of screws. Um, it took me a couple of days to make and it cost me about $20 of material. Uh, this one actually has a fairly modular design um, in that you can sort of strip it apart into three major pieces. Uh, the spring here that powers the catapult can be swapped out fairly easily. Uh, they come in packs of two anyways, so might as well make that fairly easy to swap out. Um, all I've got to do is just pull out this one spring or screw down here and that releases this screw, uh, the one end of the spring, and then all I got to do is unhook it over here and I can swap out that spring. Um, and then if I just pull that out, the arm comes off, so in the unlikely event that the arm breaks or in the more likely event that I just want to swap it out for a better version, I can do that as well. So. Now, of course, when it comes to catapults, what everyone wants to know is exactly how powerful is it. Uh, the spring can actually support up to 5 kilograms, about 10 pounds um, of, what is that, force, I guess? Weight, something like that. Can't remember my high school physics anymore. So, anyways, it's reasonably powerful. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot a little steel ball from here to that far wall over there. It's a strictly indoor catapult, but you know, it's actually not a bad range. So, uh, yeah, well, not bad, eh? The problem is I don't really have anything to shoot this at. So maybe I'll just bring it into the office and shoot it at my coworker. 